Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and this time I've got a Baidu ROM. It's another Chinese ROM. I've, ge I've been getting into a lot of Chinese ROMs lately and this one really piqued my interest because it has a lot of interesting features. Now let's get into the ROM. Now being a Chinese ROM you can see a lot of Chinese blotware and Chinese gargons which I myself do not understand a lot of the language specifics but I'll try my level best to explain a lot of them now this is the what you just saw was the slide lock screen it does have a lot of uh, lock screen functions it's not limited to just the slide one it does have a few interesting ones also which I will get into later now the launcher I guess it's called a Baidu launcher well from the ROM itself so well what is Baidu? Baidu is a um, kind of a search engine which is parallel to Google but it's in China and it's a Chinese developed one so it has a lot of uh, specific country specific things so it is Chinese foot whole now uh, let's get into the ROM now okay first of all you, what you see here is the Baidu launcher it does have a few options you can see uh, the Weather widget, weather and clock widget is a special one, so you do have that. That's pretty awesome. Memory usage, you can see the memory usage is really low. The memory usage now usage is 57%, that is 476 megs, and 356 meg is free. That really means a lot. Now, let's show you guys the recent menu. The recent menu is quite different. You get a little percentage showing you how much is being used right now it's 57 percent it's actually a clear roll button so you can just clear it up so that's pretty neat what else do we have in this rom now um let's get into the settings menu again the mode here is pretty cool you can see the uh drop down box has two partitions like the 4.4 4.2 plus roms this is based on 4.2.2 so it's a bit old but it has a lot of functionality so it may be may just be a perfect ROM for any of you so that's pretty cool let's go to the settings menu in the settings menu you can see there are two settings first is common this one is actually uh, elements taken from this and whatever you want there is an option customize and you can select what all you want uh, in that so you have a lot of options here you can just click apply and only those options are here so you can Customize the way you have the common settings. So that's pretty neat in the all menu you you find all the other settings So let's get into all of them These are normal settings. It does have a uh, Specific traffic monitoring app. It is an app which is integrated into the ROM So you have a lot of options there you can see what all ROMs you can actually use this as a firewall uh, to have the apps uh, up or down so whatever you need so that is pretty neat monthly details you can have that so that's pretty good what else do we have now all the other options are similar to what you would expect from a 4.2.2 rom uh, now remember this does not have g apps it's a relatively small rom it's only a 250 meg rom it's well for a chinese rom it is relatively small uh, well it's um, 250 megs it doesn't have g apps you have to flash the 4.2.2 g apps so just a warning sound options you have a few options here which well these are not uh, specific to the ROM so display however has a few specific things you have battery icon style you are now seeing the icon with the number which is 53 it's the battery percentage so you do have that or you can actually have a graphical so you see it's now graphical so you do have that one also now status bar transparency you can select so that is pretty neat uh, it's default at absolute transparent notification light you can enable or disable that so that is cool you can have default values default pulse color and a lot of options well yeah you you have a few options there well this is basically a Chinese ROM so a lot of the translations are not what you would expect them to be so that is something which you might have to consider when going with this ROM a lot of translation are may be lost uh, but hey you get to use a cool ROM so that's pretty cool you can even turn off the backlight right now the backlight is functional right but in the display option you have turn off backlight which turns off the backlight completely so if you want something of a um, iPhone ish 
style to your phone you can have that so yeah a lot of people have asked me about this so just wanted to make sure that it is available battery option you can see the battery um, percentage it does have a battery saver which does work it uh, disables 3g disables Wi-Fi you can actually select that how how much you want to uh, do th with that so it's really cool um, the battery life without ultra long is actually a really really horrible one actually I I couldn't this one I was at 80 80 percentage about one hour ago one or two hours ago granted I was in heavy usage but it was still a steep climb down so that is something which I wanted to uh, show you consumption you can see what all apps are consuming it I did run the benchmark so yeah it was a fairly a heavy use with ultra long standby it was acceptable so that is pretty neat what else do we have app options you can manage everything so you can have you even have a startup app manager so what all app is going to start up at uh, reboot so you can control them location access GPS settings so nothing special security now this one really does have a lot of function not it does have an ad filter which is built into it you can use it to filter ads but come on help a bro out don't just filter everything at anything so yeah now in this one you can see you have screen lock screen lock you see a lot of patterns here right now I'm no, I don't really understand hot word search it's some kind of uh, thing which uh, well honestly I do not understand that at all because I don't speak the language and I don't understand this at all it's something of a thing it goes into the Baidu search engine so again I don't understand that at all but something which I really appreciate is a voice print I will get to that later now we do have themes for lock screen I have downloaded these themes this is this one is the default one which it with which it comes I'll show you guys the default one it's similar to what you saw right now with the hot word search so yeah this is the default one with which it comes you can go for it you can just uh, do this or you can go for a camera app messaging or unlock you you have other um, themes also let me show you guys this one that's a really great one so this is the other theme you can go to this is the unlock button you have messages or call or yeah this is clock so you have that option also now let's get into the voice print one okay what this is is that it uh, tracks your voice it records a recording of your voice specific to you and whenever you want to unlock the phone you have to say that so that is pretty much an awesome feature it just recorded something I'll show you guys I'll set it up and show you guys how it works I have actually set up the uh, screen lock with voice print let's try it out no we have to click this and say a hot word I have set foxtrot as my hot word let's see foxtrot so it just unlocked my phone so that is pretty much well in my opinion the coolest feature of this ROM it's really awesome it does have uh, the traditional numeric which is a number pad uh, also the password unlock so that they are archaic it's uh, well the voice print is really cool uh, I have I have uh, tried it out with my brother he couldn't unlock my phone with the same hot words so that is pretty neat um, what else does this have? It does have a Find My Phone app. Uh, it's actually you. It requires you to uh, bind your con, bind your phone with the Baidu uh, search. Um, so I, I haven't tried this out, but it works as any other Find My Phone app. With the languages and the input option. You do have the default one, that which is Baidu input, which is actually a Chinese keyboard, but it also has English text. So that is pretty neat. It does have that rest of them are similar to what you would expect it's actually an official one I I think I haven't mentioned that uh, it does have uh, accessibility setting being an official one you will get system updates each week it is a weekly updated thing just like MIUI so you will get the updated packages so that's pretty cool in the about phone you can see it is 4.2.2 that is probably my only gripe about this ROM and also that it doesn't it isn't uh, other than Chinese friendly people will get uh, disoriented with this ROM so that's something else 
so that is in the settings menu let me show you guys the uh, apps with which it comes uh, it has a lot of blockware as i have said it has a lot of baidu apps uh, baidu maps this is baidu search this is something else so in case you're wondering these are all chinese right you will not understand that there's something called word fetch which is this one i'll just start it up this is turned on let me turn it on okay now you see this right so that is a really cool feature now you have this just running there let me just see what this means so i'll just click on search it, now it has searched for it and now it's given me what a, a that text here right i'll just click it and it'll search the internet for it granted it's using baidu search so i can even translate it or do a web search for it now that text means on gaku music and it's basically the music player you can just okay it's that so that is the uh, what the music player sounds like in Chinese so for those who do not understand Chinese a bit don't be scared you do have a translator inside of it so you have that also also this has a unique feature if you long press it you will get two options right um, this one is to turn it off this one is to select a text from the screen you can select something okay I have selected both of these I have I can just copy it uh, the text will come in a text editor and you can do a lot a lot of things with it now let's get into the to the benchmark scores the benchmark score was uh, 18800 something so that is pretty neat I have flashed it two or three times and uh, to my surprise normally when I flash a new ROM the Antutu benchmark score is somewhere well it's scattered it's really scattered over a long uh, ranking system but in this one I found out found out that it was similar to 18800 18870 18813 and 18821 so these are the benchmark score which I get got from the ROM so that is really indicating of the stability I guess so yeah that's pretty neat it does have a lot of internal applications uh, this is actually utility I used this thing to search what this meant it's utility you do have a flashlight notepad calculator the calculator really reminded me of the MIUI with this flick to go to scientific one so that's really cool uh, yeah I haven't actually talked about the theming feature now have I now it does have a lot of themes um, it is online you can search for a lot of themes here I'll show you guys a few one if I can uh, I have downloaded a few you can even uh, mix and match the themes which you like with the themes which you don't like like you can have wallpaper from one you can have lost screen from another text from another so you can have a lot of functionality from within the uh, theming functions so I have downloaded four themes I'll show you guys one of them confirm your numeric huh. yeah I have uh, actually had the lock screen right yeah so it's actually installing it and it has installed now everything has changed the icons have changed I guess these are the theme functions uh, the icons are changed and things like that so it's not as deep as a MIUI theme but it does have a lot of function into it so that's pretty cool let's get into the camera app because it is a special camera app not the same as they not the one same as the 4.2.2 uh, Android so it does have a few extra features like it does have a speed uh, self timer in the settings settings are actually similar to what you can expect from the uh, other ROM and let me just take that out settings this one is actually similar to the 4.2.2 uh, camera so you do have all that you do have a this is actually frame so you do have frames you can you can even have time and date and weather forever you can maybe select this I don't know you can have a lot of things here that's pretty cool it does have uh, reverse camera the the camera was not it didn't have any crashes while the time I was using it so that's indicative of a good one but 4.2.2 didn't have much of a crash issue so that's something to consider almost all the app is uh, are the almost all the apps are uh, themed so I'm not worried about showing you guys because you can expect a lot of themes the clock is themed everything is themed so yeah that's pretty much it the phone and SMS app is actually a 
uh, con conglomerated one so you will have both of them in the same app but you will have different icons for it so don't worry about it so that's pretty neat so let me show you guys the boot animation now it does have four way reboot which i really appreciate because that's really cool to have in a rom so here is the boot animation i'm hoping it says baidu rom so that was a really long review of baidu rom um really it has a lot of cool features and a lot of uh, functionality into it the only problem which i think well it's personal one is that it's uh, still on 4.2.2 i guess all the chinese roms which have a theme installed are still on 4.2.2 so yeah i guess that much is it about the rom hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye